four days after they were deployed to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian, 30 South Florida firefighter paramedics are heading back home. The team has been going door to door searching for survivors on Grand Bahama's East End and bringing food and water to affected residents. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live from Port Everglades. Well, Elliot and Francis, Freeport, Grand Bahama, one of the hardest hit areas in this storm, and that is where these paramedic firefighters have been since last Friday. They're going to be heading home here tonight after this humanitarian mission. While search teams comb the hardest hit areas of the Bahamas looking for human remains, City of Miami and Miami-Dade firefighters have been working together to bring help to the people on Grand Bahama Island. We're very happy to be here with the City of Miami Fire Department representing Miami-Dade County and assisting in any which way that uh, we can, especially since we're so close to them. CBS News follows South Florida teams who are helping Bahamian residents get basic supplies like food and water. So we make contact, we get their name find out if they need anything and uh, in this particular case their vehicles are still down the road where the where the pole is down in front of the road so rather than give them a bunch of supplies and make them carry them we're going to drop them off to their vehicles survivors are being evacuated by plane and on ferries most with little more than a suitcase some leaving their home forever i don't think it's going to be there's going to be another habitacle because the hurricane destroyed the place so bad so this group of 30 of Miami-Dade and City of Miami firefighters expected back here at Port Everglades around 9. That ferry is leaving from Freeport, and we understand City of Miami firefighters continue to work with the Coast Guard on recovery efforts in the Bahamas. At Port Everglades tonight, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.